Welcome back, my carnivore friends. Today, our prep talk is gonna be about the different levels of carnivore. And the reason why I wanna go through this is because as you start to do your own research and you start to watch other YouTubers or you start to read and do a bunch of learning about this diet, there are sometimes what feels like conflicting information. And it's really not conflicting necessarily, it's just that there are different versions of carnivore. So let's go through them. Carnivore is truly an elimination diet. It is not only for weight loss, and in fact, weight loss is one of the things it does kind of as an afterthought, because it heals your body. As I mentioned in my previous videos, if you have mental health conditions, or you have autoimmune disease, or you have other diseases or conditions like diabetes or major skin concerns, there are so many things that can be healed or put into remission through this elimination diet. And as a result, there are different forms and different levels of carnivore. So I wanted to go through those with you so you can decide which level is best for you. And then I'll go through what I would suggest for your first 30 days. Starting with the most strict form of carnivore, you have beef, salt, and water. And as I mentioned, I follow several doctors and Dr. Anthony Chafee is one of those that you hear him talk mostly about beef, salt, and water. He does not agree with using artificial sweeteners or other types of snacky carnivore ideas. He's really a meat, salt, and water, but the strictest version is beef, salt, and water. So if you have severe conditions like severe rheumatoid arthritis, or you have severe allergies, allergies or you have autoimmune diseases or severe food allergies, any of those types of things where you have a lot of healing to do, you might want to start at more of a stricter version of carnivore. So maybe beef, salt, and water or meats, salt, and water. Now, the next thing that you might want to add in is seafood. A lot of people do really well on seafood. Again, you may want to start maybe your first week or two at the more strict version and just do beef for a week or two and then add in seafood and see how that makes you feel. Because it's an elimination diet, you're going to be healing and you're going to feel really good even within a few days, depending on how serious your conditions are, you might start feeling amazingly better in just a few days. Next, what you might want to consider adding would be eggs. Now, eggs are a great source of protein and fat, but eggs are also an allergen to many people. So again, you might want to add in your eggs after a week or two of eating just meat or meat and seafood and see if you feel anything different. Like, are you getting headaches? Are you feeling bloat? Are you getting some muscle or joint pain? Just look for those things and start listening to your body and understanding what it's telling you it likes and what it's telling you to maybe give up. And sometimes you just need to give it up a little bit longer and reintroduce it again and see what it does for you. Another version that you'll hear about a lot on the carnivore diet is the lion diet. And that is also a meat diet, but it's ruminant meats. And ruminant meats are animals that have four hearts. It's things like cows, deer, elk, sheep, and goat. You can look up the ruminant animals and eat any of those. And that is really good for a lot of people, especially if they can't do seafood or eggs, they can typically do the ruminant meats. The only other thing I would mention is that you may get comments from people or you may read information from different doctors or different carnivores that say things like, if you eat spices, you're not a carnivore because spices don't come from animals or if you eat any type of vegetables or any types of fruits, you're not a carnivore. And that is technically true, but a lot of people do okay on some spices. Now, again, if you have some of those serious conditions and your body has a lot of healing to do, I would keep out all spices except for salt and let your body heal and then introduce spices a little bit at a time. Now, if you're just really here to try and lose weight, then you may not have any issues with your spices, but 
but again i would still recommend that you introduce each one slowly see how you feel on them and maybe for that first week again just one week try and do just meat salt and water and see the amazing benefits that you get and if nothing else it will make you feel so good that you're going to want to do more now, I say that you're gonna feel better, but keep in mind that if your body has a ton of healing to do, you may not feel all the great benefits of being a carnivore right away. And you may not lose weight right away if that's one of the things that you're trying to do. Now, a lot of people on carnivore are not even trying to lose weight. They are trying to heal their body from things like diabetes and autoimmune disease and mental health disorders and things along those lines. Depending on what your needs are for why you're going to do this diet, it will depend on what version of carnivore you might wanna do and how quickly you may feel some of the benefits. And again, I have been on this diet for a year and my husband and I have seen many, many good outcomes from this diet. My blood pressure, my doctor wanted me to go on some blood pressure medication because my blood pressure was through the roof. I started this diet and now when I saw my doctor just about a month ago, she had her nurse take my blood pressure. She didn't believe the results. She took my blood pressure and she was like, holy cow, what are you doing? This diet has done so many countless things. I have people telling me I look much younger than my 50 plus years. My skin feels good. My aches and pains are gone. My blood pressure is down. My blood work looks amazing. I'm able to work out, which I've never been a big person that likes to work out. But when you have a lot more energy and a lot less joint pain, then exercise is actually something that's really enjoyable. But when you have all those pains and and aches and unhealthiness in your body, it's really hard to do something good for you like working out. All that said, it is so dependent on what you need from this diet. So I would suggest that if you have a condition, say you have a mental health disorder and this diet has truly healed people that have mental health diseases and issues, that I would search that in YouTube and find the other carnivores that have healed themselves. And they usually do a little stricter version of carnivore. If you have severe autoimmune diseases or you have severe psoriasis or any of those severe diseases that are based around your diet, then you may need to be more strict. For our 30 day challenge, I would suggest that if you have any of those serious health conditions that you need to be significantly healed from, then I would do as strict of a version as you can manage. If you can, try and do a strict version of carnivore, meat, salt, and water for the first seven to 14 days. And then if you're feeling really good and you want to try and add other things in, I would then add seafood. And then I would probably add eggs. But again, give yourself a few days in between and see how it makes you feel. Now, those of you that love to comment, that is what I'm really looking for forward to. So ask the questions, share your outcomes, share concerns, but please try to be cognizant of the fact that some people on this 30 day challenge are going to be in different versions of carnivore. And so don't shame people for the version that they've chosen. Now we're certainly going to cut out vegetables from our diet and we're certainly going to cut out fruit and very obviously no sugar, no starches, no breads, any of that stuff. We're not doing nuts. But just don't shame people because they chose to add seafood or eggs or dairy. And I didn't talk about dairy. And that's because dairy for me is a trigger. <laughs> so dairy, it's one of those things that some people can add dairy right in at the beginning and lose weight and be healed from things. A lot of people can't do dairy. Dairy, number one, it's hard to eat it in small quantities. And you'll hear Dr. Chafee talk about if you're gonna use dairy, use it as like a condiment. So sprinkle a little cheese on your meal. You don't wanna get pre-cut up cheese because it has a lot of caking agents. So try and shred your own cheese if we're gonna use cheese. Or if you're gonna use just a little bit of sour cream or heavy cream, keep it to a tablespoon or so. But for a lot of us, dairy is a no-go. <laughs> so I would suggest for the first 30 days that you do not include dairy. Now, 
Now, if you say, Jennifer, I cannot do this diet because I cannot give up dairy, then try dairy if you need to. Again, we're not gonna shame you because of it, but keep in mind a lot of people stall or don't lose weight because they add dairy. So if weight loss is one of the things, or if you have a health condition that needs to be healed, sometimes dairy can prevent weight loss or those full healings. After the first 30 days, we will talk about what else we can do. So those of us that are looking to lose weight, we may need to vary the amount of fat and protein in our diets, or we may need to cut eggs or cut seafood or cut dairy. So we'll talk about some of the things that you can do on an individual basis to tweak this program and make it work for you, because that is what this is all about. This is an amazing diet. It does so many things for so many people, but it also needs to work for you. It's like I said in my very first video, the diet that is good for you is the diet that works best for you. I am so looking forward to doing this 30 day challenge with you. Mark your calendars for August 12th. And if you start after August 12th, that is perfectly fine. You just watch these videos and you go along with us as if you started with us on August 12th. It doesn't matter if it's August 12th a year from now, we will enjoy doing this together. And I look forward to the comments and the encouragement that this carnivore community is so well known for. We are a great group of people that love to encourage one another. And that's why we're doing this 30 day challenge together. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I put out new content, especially about the carnivore diet. Make sure to go back to my carnivore playlist and watch the previous videos in case you missed any. And then also hit the thumbs up, the like button, if you enjoyed this content. Content, it really makes me know that what I'm doing here is helpful to you. Keep your eye on the description box below for any additional information. I do spend a lot of time on my description box so that I give you as much information as I can. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, let's be cutting out some of that sugar and doing some of those things to get us prepared for our 30 day challenge.